Howdy everybody, this is Yuri the Blender Magus and welcome back to my Blender for Beginners course. In this tutorial we're going to go over adding bones and a little bit of weight painting. So without further ado, let's get started. So jumping back in with our guy here from our previous video and if you are confused, uh, you know, feel free to watch our other Blender Beginners videos and you'll be able to get to this part. So what we're going to go over is adding bones. So first thing we're going to do is shift S cursor to world origin. We're going to make sure we're in our layout view. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over adding bones. So what are our bones? Well, they're just that. They're the controls that we use to manipulate characters. So this is what a bone looks like in Blender. They look different in other applications. This is how they operate in Blender. You have this octahedral setup. So if we go here down to our bone properties tab, and we go to or we go to our object data properties here we can go to display viewport display and you can change the display of the bones so we have octahedral we have stick we have b bone which is short for bendy bone we have envelope and we have wire i am a fan of octahedral because you can clearly see the direction that the bones are facing to add bones to your character you need to position them properly so I'm going to start with this bone and I'm actually going to add the bones all together to the character. And as I'm adding the bones, I'll introduce you to the different things that are happening. And you know, bones also have two different modes. They have object mode and edit mode, but they also have a third mode called pose mode. And in this mode is where you actually pose your bones. Right now we're gonna focus on object mode and edit mode. So right now in edit mode, I'm gonna hit one to make sure I'm in the front view. Uh, in my object data properties in the viewport display, I'm gonna hit in front. And so when I hit G and X, you can see if I rotate, the bone is actually inside the character's leg, but I can still see the bone itself through the character. Hit Control Z, moving back to the center here. We're gonna hit G and Z. I'm gonna bring it up to the pelvis, and then I'm gonna hit G and Z and just bring it down. So we have one bone here for the hips we we'll hit E to extrude up and we'll have one bone for the middle of the rib cage and then we'll hit E and Z to extrude up again and we'll have one bone for the chest we can maybe make this a bit bigger here and then we're going to extrude a couple more times so we're going to hit three extrude up one more time for the neck and then one last time for the head in the side view here you can position these bones to be less straight and from here you want to start naming your bones so what we've just done is we've created a bone chain so I'm gonna go into pose mode which we can do by clicking here and going to pose mode or we can hit control tab in pose mode the way bone chains work is this is the root bone, the parent bone that all of these other bones will follow. So if I rotate this bone, you see every other bone follows. And it'll go down the chain, so on and so forth. So you see this bone doesn't affect the bone beneath it, but it affects everything on top. So as you can see, wherever this shape is pointing, the next shape will follow. So that's, that's how the bones work. <laughs> along a bone chain so what we're gonna do is we need to make uh, separate bone chains for the arms and the legs so in edit mode we're just going to hit tab to duplicate and we're going to rotate this so this will be the shoulder and uh, you can just simply hit G or you know, right click to select the point of the bone the head and you can hit G and just move it that way and for the arms we're just going to simply extrude down for the legs we're going to duplicate these arms and just rotate them make sure that they're flat here And like I said, we're going to have to start naming our bones. So this bone up here, and your make sure you're in your bone properties tab all the way at the bottom. You want to click here and name this head. And you basically want to name 
your bones according to their position. So this is the head, this is the neck, this is the spine. You can name this 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, upper leg, lower leg. So go through and name all your bones accordingly. For the upper leg and lower leg designations, along with the upper arm and lower arm designations, you'll want to add a dot L next to it so that Blender knows that this is the left side of the body. Once you have your upper arm and lower arm designations with your dot L next to them, what you want to do from here is shift s cursor to world origin select your bones all the bones that are on the left side you want to go to armature and you want to go to symmetrize and that will basically copy the bones from this side all the way to this side and it'll also duplicate their names so that it reflects the position so now it says dot r instead of dot l that's why it's important to name your bones from here we can hit the x button and now we can edit our bones uh, with the mirror modifier or you know or with the mirror on we can make more positional changes in the legs as well as the arms make sure you have a bend in the knee and in the elbow next we're going to map our rig here so we're going to go into object mode we're going to take our rig and parent our character to the rig so that way when we go into the pose mode of the rig here uh, we can move the character so first right click to select the character right click to select the rig hit control p go all the way down and select with automatic weights now when we select our rig and hit control tab if we select the arm here and we rotate it you see our character is now moving with it uh, we have some issues here however we've misparented the leg bones so what you want to do is back in edit mode with the rig you want to select the leg here or the upper leg and select the hips and then hit control p keep offset so now when we rotate the arm the leg stays where it's supposed to be and we basically have our character however our characters uh, weights are kind of crap right now so there are a few things we can do to fix that the main thing being going into weight bait mode so in order to fix some of the weight issues that you have with your character what you want to do is you want to control tab and with your rig selected hold shift and right click your character and then you want to hit control tab and you want to go to weight paint right here and now you want to deselect that and with this bone selected you see we have a red color and it gradiates all the way to the blue blue means zero influence red means maximum influence and everything in between is everything in between and this is basically how you uh, specify exactly how the bones are controlling the object so if we hit n and go to tool you see we have our brushes down here we want to Instead of draw, we want to go to subtract. I'm going to hit F to make this brush bigger. Turn the strength down. And we just want to subtract some of the influence that this bone is having. Now, to gradiate that influence a bit more, we can go to blur. And that'll basically blur the influence so that it's not such a sharp transition. And because we have symmetry turned on, it basically made the same edits on the other side so we're gonna do the same thing with the leg here we're gonna go to the brush subtract gonna get rid of some of this and then we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna blur the rest of it 
Next, let's do a quick check on the head. We actually want this chin area to be all the way red. So we're gonna go to the brush. We're gonna ch change it from subtract to mix. Make sure the strength and everything is at one. And just paint that there. Make sure this is at one too. Oops. Next, go to the neck and make sure we get rid of its influence on the chin here. So let's subtract that. If we hit control tab, go back to object mode and select the rig. Control tab, go into pose mode. Our rig has better weights now and moves a bit more smoothly. And now you can pose your character. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching this part of the tutorial. In the next part, we're going to go over adding bone constraints to the character. So I'll see you then. Have a good one.